alaikum. My name is Amanda Saab, and I'm so excited to be sharing one of my favorite vegan recipes with you this Ramadan. It's called Mjadara Turuz, which translates to lentils and rice. And it's super easy to make and really refreshing served with a cucumber yogurt salad. We're gonna go ahead and get started by chopping up our onions. This is a key component to our recipe. And I love using yellow onions. They're super sweet and also mild in flavor. We're also gonna add some garlic and some spices. We use warm spices in this dish like cumin and cinnamon. And this dish comes together in a breeze and also makes great leftovers. I love packing imjadratras for picnics, but during Ramadan, it's like the perfect leftover meal. So I know we're gonna have meals for at least two nights during the month. We're gonna start chopping our onion and getting that sauteed in our saucepan. I also love that this recipe is done in one pot. Again, easy cleanup. Working parents, you know what it's like. Trying to make iftar, get everything nice and clean and tidy and ready for the month of Ramadan. I'm so excited that Islamic Relief is partnering with me on these recipes to share with you, especially because their work globally is so important and they're making such an impact in so many different countries. What I'm learning from the team is that whenever there's an emergency anywhere in the world, Islamic Relief is there, including when Typhoon Ray hit the Philippines earlier this year. There were over 15 million people living in the affected areas and Islamic Relief answered the call. And now it's our turn to do the same. To learn more about the work in the Philippines and other countries around the world, please visit islamicrelief.org. IS irusa.org to learn more. So again, we're gonna start sauteing our onions. And once they're nice and floral and caramelized, we're gonna add in our lentils and our rice. Now this might seem like a ton of onions, it's about two cups, but they're going to become translucent and really kind of dissolve into our dish. And I love this, not only because it's vegan, but it's packed with protein from the lentils and it's super flavorful and delicious. Bonus, your kids won't even know it's healthy. We're gonna grate some garlic in as well. I love using my microplane for garlic just cause it gets it nice and fine. But we're gonna allow our, our onions to kind of saute before we add in our garlic because the onions take just a little bit longer than our onions to cook. A trick to peeling your garlic is to use the back of your knife and kind of smash it into your cutting board like this. You might get a flying garlic or two. And then the peel just comes right off. So for the pieces that we don't grate with our microplane, you can just give them a rough chop and we'll add them in. And like I said, these are gonna cook for a little while so they'll have time to dissolve in with our onions. It'll be super delicious and fragrant. I love this sound too. It's like making music in the kitchen. So we're gonna add our grated garlic in with our onions. I'm gonna grab my spatula and give those a stir. And it's at this point in time, I have to ask myself, is there anything better than garlic and onions cooking? All right, we're gonna add the rest of this garlic in there. And then we're gonna add in our seasonings. So in here, I have ground cumin and ground cinnamon. And I love adding it in at this point because it gets really nice and fragrant and the herbs kind of blossom or bloom in the oil with the heat. And start to smell that, it smells so delicious. And these warm notes of 
fragrance and herbs will really go nicely with the yogurt and cucumber salad. Just be really nice and cooling and kind of cut through the richness that comes through the dish. We're also gonna season our onions and garlic. And this also helps them break down a little bit quicker. I love using a nice thick Maldon salt. It's a little bit less salty than a table salt. And if you've ever over seasoned with, you know, like a Morton's table salt, you know exactly what I mean by less salty. And then we will add in our lentils and rice. So I have a cup of lentils and I have green lentils here and about a quarter cup of rice. I use a short grain rice, but you can use any rice you have on hand. If you have long grain, basmati rice, that works as well. You just wanna use a little bit less, probably a tablespoon less, but you can definitely use whatever rice you have on hand. So we're gonna go ahead and pour that in. And we're gonna be using some water. You can also use some stock or broth, and if you are using a broth, then you wanna make sure it's low sodium because we've added some salt, or just adjust your salt to accommodate for that stock. So like this is pretty much done. We've done like all the heavy lifting with this. We're gonna allow this to come to a boil, and then we're gonna allow it to simmer. And dinner will be ready soon. While that's simmering, we're going to be working on our cucumber yogurt salad. I love this salad. It is a staple Lebanese salad, especially during the summer month. It's so cool and refreshing. And during Shahar Ramadan, great way to get in some protein. I like to use a Greek yogurt for this. It's called Khyar al Laban. So delicious. I use the Persian cucumbers because they're very crisp but you can use whatever cucumbers you have on hand. So we're gonna cut these in half and then in quarters and just give them a chop, add them to our bowl, season with salt and garlic and some fresh mint, and drizzle some olive oil on the top and it's absolutely delicious. One of the reasons I love working with Islamic Relief and have supported their work for years is whenever there's an emergency anywhere in the world, they are the first to respond, always. And what I'm learning is there's a team that's on standby 24 hours a day, ready to answer that call. SubhanAllah. We got flying cukes. And you can adjust the amount of cucumbers. I like a thicker cucumber salad. Um, my grandmother likes it way more fine, so she does a fine dice. But I like kind of having like that chunk from the cucumber running through the super smooth, cool yogurt. I like you using Greek yogurt, but traditionally it's made with laban. So if that's what you have on hand, please use that. Oh, we need a spoon. All right, we're gonna season these cucumbers. Just have some fresh salt and fresh, we have some salt and some fresh mint. If you don't have any fresh mint, you can definitely use dried mint. Just use less. Dried herbs are definitely more potent and strong. And I hope what you're learning through this recipe series is so many recipes can be adapted to what you have on hand. And while cooking can be intimidating, it's really flexible and we can adjust to what we have on hand so we don't have to feel like, you know, oh, I can't make that recipe. I don't have that ingredient. There is definitely a way you can make it work. If you don't have mint, you can use dill. Dill is super delicious with cucumbers and yogurt. We're gonna use some lemon. And like I said, again, we're gonna use our microplane, the same one that we had our garlic on because the garlic is gonna add some flavor to here. And we're gonna zest it and then juice it. And this is a great way to maximize our produce and utilize all aspects of the fruits and vegetables that we buy. Get all that pulp and juice from these lemons in our bowl. 
So one of the reasons people prefer cooking to baking is, you know, it's a little bit easier. You can eyeball things and it'll still be delicious. So with my yogurt, just kind of eyeballed how much I want um, to give me the right ratio and consistency. Greek yogurt is kind of thick, whereas Laban is a little bit smoother. So you can definitely add some water because we added lemon juice. I don't need as much water as I normally would. I'm going to show you how to garnish this up to be so pretty as well. I also love how like in so many cultures, there are like variations of the same dishes and everyone has like their spin and their take. I've seen like in Asian cuisine, different smashed cucumber salads, just so delicious and versatile. And of course you always want to taste to adjust for seasoning. If it's Ramadan, obviously you can't taste and adjust for seasoning. Just wait till iftar. <laughs> but I'm going to taste to make sure we don't need more salt. Perfect. I'm going to add more lemon though. And to garnish, we're just going to top it with some fresh mint. I love when you like hide in some herbs, especially soft herbs like mint and dill to garnish the top. So then people can identify what's inside. And there's no surprises. We can even do a little garnish with our lemon. So I'd call it, cut it as fine and thin as possible. That's why it's really important to sharpen your knives. You don't have to have expensive knives, but you need to have sharp knives. So that's the most important thing. So cut some lemon. You can cut it through, and then we're going to twist and do a little garnish. And there we are. So our jadara troiz is done. Our lentils are fully cooked and tender. We're going to plate and serve. Awesome. So I'm going to plate myself some of our food so I can give it a taste. And this is like the perfect iftar meal for me. It's packed with protein while being vegan. And it's super hydrating with all our cucumbers and yogurt. Get a spoonful of this. I don't know about you, but I love like mixing my food together because then you got like the hot and the cold, combine it all together. Bismillah. That's so good. I hope you'll give this recipe a try. It's absolutely delicious. I'm going to go back and eat some more. Thank you all so much for joining me, Amanda Saab, and a 